the brothers. Now, they all get at together the, uh, one night room is asking in a basement. Me, uh, if these new events uh, will block our ascending to the fifth dimension, the brothers, what they're doing, they all get together one they're night. They're trying. They can't. In a they cannot stop it. They can delay it, but they cannot stop it. The thing is your own preparation and the focus that you put your attention in remember the thing that's most important to them is your attention that's why you pay attention that is the most valuable thing you have because that's the access point to who you are your attention is what your observer puts its light of observation on so that it can learn, so that it can interface with what it is, uh, is accessing as information. If you allow yourself to interact with this and then come into a place of fear, especially fear, then you will become susceptible to what it is that they are doing and you will find yourself giving importance and therefore empowering them. No fear is them. You have to now create a condition within yourself that you recognize these weak points that they've created in you and learn how to delete those weak points. Usually it's based on judgment of self. I'm not good enough. I don't think I can. Uh, I might. I wish I can. I want to. This is the language of failure. And if you continue to speak like that, if you continue to cast or at least project your weakness as somebody else's fault or the things that you're not getting as somebody else's fault, then that victim mode that you're in is going to be what the universe responds to. And you have this, uh, you have this uh, thought pattern, this loop that they call a data stream, a karmic data stream, and it is constantly being replayed and being reflected back to you because what your subconscious is constantly replaying is what the universe is feeding back to you. So unless you delete all of what you have been given in your files and subconsciously of, of, of in, embedded into your files, how, how I don't, I can't have this, I don't have this, I wish I could, I want to, I need, that's another big word. Once you do that, then the language and the meaning attached to the language is what the universe reflects back to you. So they know what language does and how it manipulates you and your spirit and your being to act not only consciously but subconsciously as a slave. And they keep feeding it to you, telling you how you eat your underarms don't smell right, or ladies, when you're having your cycle, are you odor-free and all this kind of nonsense. So you're constantly worrying about yourself, always thinking about yourself as not being good enough, your nails are not good enough, and our, our sisters are spending to the tune of five to ten billion dollars, twenty billion dollars a year on artificial hair, on nails that are poisonous. All this stuff, all this money is going into them making you believe that you are deficient. And this is how they help keep the lockdown in place. Because unless you realize and with your real eyes, well, let me say it again, unless you realize with your real eyes that you can see beyond the illusion that that is not you in the mirror, that is just an outer shell. It is who it is that's observing that mirror and what's in that mirror, that's the real thing. You have to get back into access with that and understand the science of how that works. And that's what we teach at our university.